What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about bringing animations inside our uh, profile screens. We, in, we have talked about designing two screens, right? One was the profile screen and the other was the login and sign up pages. Uh, but we hadn't used any sort of animations in those screens, right? Uh, first of all, before watching this video, I would highly recommend you to watch my uh, videos on animations. I have talked about different types of animations and uh, how to bring in animations using, uh, I mean, into your Flutter apps and all that in those videos. Uh, I would highly recommend you to watch that once before proceeding with this. Anyway, so what exactly are we going to do? Let me uh, show you that by throwing up a mobile screen to the side of this design image. Wow. You saw that the uh, content of the screen just flew into the screen from the left, right? And it not only just flew, it just, you know, it, it was like sort of a delayed animation, right? If you just tap on register, the first uh, component flew in first and the, uh, uh, the rest of the content flew in later, right? In a delayed way. I'll uh, show you one more time, wait. Cool, right? The first component flew in first, the middle part flew in next and the last footer flew in at the last, right? If we just tap on register, here I have two animations, one just happened now and the other happened. So it was like sort of a delayed animation, right? It's like making your uh, components in the screen come alive, fly in into the screen, right? So how exactly are we going to achieve this? Let's see in this video. This will be a short video, okay? Uh, so, uh, first of all, open the code. Wait, I'll just uh, open the code and then get back to you guys. Alright, uh, this was our code for the login screen, right? Uh, uh, as I said before, I have already made videos on animations and different types. This, this exact concept of delayed animations in my channel. And uh, I would recommend you guys to watch those two videos once before uh, proceeding uh, along with this video. But even if you haven't watched that and uh, you have already you already have a basic uh, understanding of how animation works, kindly uh, proceed along with this video. Continue with this video. So first, what I'll do is uh, since I'm going to be making use of animations, I need a uh, state ticker provider, right? Single uh, ticker provider state mixin, and uh, uh, I'll need a controller as well. So. I'll have animation, animation, uh, this is for the second delayed animation, delayed animation and I'll have a much delayed animation as well, fine and we'll declare one more animation controller, okay, animation controller, uh, animation controller, fine, now inside the we will first override since the animation should load upon uh, init state I will just override init state I can simply type init state and the yeah it will automatically give me the inside uh, this I will simply do a first I will initialize the animation controller animation controller uh, equals animation controller duration will be duration some seconds any seconds I can give I will just give 3 seconds and uh, vsync will be this okay uh, now i have the animation controller i just need to write three animations for flying uh, for the components to fly in, in into my screen right and all those animations should happen one after the other the animation should happen first and the delayed animation will happen next and the much delayed animation will happen at the last uh, so what i'll do is animation equals tween Tween defines the uh, uh, actual, Tween is the actual definition of the animation. I, I, you will understand it better when you actually see it on a screen rather than me trying to explain uh, it guys, explain it in words. So uh, just hold on, 1.0, that is to the, uh, you understand what I told about the axis, right? Minus 1.0 would be to the left axis, left axis on the, wait, I'll show you. As I said, you'll understand it better when I show it on a device. N0 and uh, dot animate curved animation uh, curve curve start fast uh, out slow in 
and uh, parent animation controller okay now i have defined a simple animation this animation will start from the left and end at 0.0, .0 that is end at the center okay from the left i am bringing something into the screen okay and uh, uh, i can use the same animation the only thing i need to do is change this first of all delayed sorry delayed animation and here as well it should fly in from the left and uh, the curve will be the same the only difference between that and this will be while i'm specifying the curve i'll give a interval okay interval uh, 0.5 to 1.0 uh, and then I will specify the curve, curve start what was it fast out slow in right fast out slow in. fine so what will this do this will start the animation after this animation has started you get it right but it will end the animation at the same time this animation ends see 0.0, .0 to 1.0 is the actual animation guys this will start at 0.5 so you can all automatically understand and we are using the same animation controller so once this animation starts once this animation is triggered it will start exactly when 0 0.05 uh, uh, it will start at 0 0.05 of this animation the second animation will start at 0 0.05 of this animation we are just giving a small interval between these two animations so that there is a uh, delay effect right so uh, the next thing i'll do is i'll give a much delayed animation much delayed animation and this again will start at 8 so this will be the one that starts at the end but it will finish at the same time as these two finish right and i am using the same animation controller so that it happens one after the other uh, since we are we have introduced a delay using an interval in these two animations right now i have defined the set of animations i need to apply them inside this particular screen how do i do that i use an animated builder so before using the animated builder we need to know the particular width of the screen right otherwise what if it, the user is running this entire application on a tab so uh, to get the width of the screen i will do a final double width equals media sorry media query dot of context dot uh, size dot width okay and uh, i'll just start the animation animation controller dot forward will start the animation right and uh, what should i animate this entire scaffold i should animate so i'll just wrap this scaffold inside a no, uh, wrapping that won't be necessary in an ideal way so instead of returning scaffold here i'll just return a new sorry return animated builder and uh, inside this uh, i'll specify the controller animation sorry animation controller and uh, builder uh, this will take in a build function build context context widget child okay uh, and this since this is a function now this function will return the scaffold which will be the actual components involved in the uh, application i will just close this as well scaffold after the scaffold i need to close the uh, build function and also i need to close the animated builder fine now what should i animate inside this first i should animate the text hello then there to fly in first and then i should animate the rest of the stuff right so i'll wrap the container with a new widget I'll wrap with new widget and uh, i'll use a transform property transform what this transform will do it uh, i'll show you this child transform uh, uh, matrix 4 matrix 4 dot translation values uh, uh animation dot value dot no uh, multiplied by width and this will be 0, 0.0 this will be again 0, 0.0 okay 
this is the actual transformation that we are doing that is we are making the uh, component the hello and there we are making the whatever this container contains to fly in from the left on the x axis right this is x this is y and this is z since these two we are specifying as 0 and uh, x axis we are specifying it to be the value uh, run through this animation into the width so uh, it will fly from the left to the center on the x axis right now once that is done uh, why does it fly from the left to the center i have given 1.0 and 0, 0.0 if i gave it as 1.0 and uh, uh, 0, 0.0 here and 1.0 here it will start from the center and fly away from the screen fly out of the screen right you get it right minus 1.0 is this 1.0 uh, 0, 0.0 is this and wait i'll show you minus 1.0 is this guys 0, 0.0 is the center plus 1.0 is this okay so if i start at 0, 0.0 and end at 1.0 it will obviously fly out of the screen if i start at minus 1.0 and end at 0, 0.0 it will fly from the left of the screen to the center of the screen right along the x-axis why along the x-axis because i am specifying it to happen along the transformation to happen along the x-axis okay that's too much talk i'll just uh, start uh, stop talking here and start uh, showing you guys the actual stuff so i'll once again wrap this as well within a new widget the same uh, concept only difference that i will be doing here is uh, matrix 4 dot translation values the only difference i will be doing is i will use the delayed animation value delayed uh, animation uh, dot value multiplied by width and here as well i will give 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0 fine right uh, some alignment issues ah fine now uh, one more i have right what was that this row this row is the footer the last footer after that uh, transformation this is the last footer i'll wrap this as well inside a transform matrix 4 dot translation values and uh, this will be a much delayed animation much delayed animation dot value multiplied by width and 0 0.0 0, 0 0.0 fine i'll save this now i will be following an exactly similar to i mean exactly similar code in the sign up page as well so that I, uh, instead of showing this to you guys i will simply uh copy and paste. i'll cut the video here and then uh, take you guys to the screen i mean start again start recording again from wherein i have finished uh, the sign up uh, page all right guys as you can see here i have uh, finished the sign up page as well here we are just using two animation definitions and uh, i have made use the transform property as well for uh, these two stuff to uh, this container to fly in and uh, this container to fly in as well right uh, it's exactly the same concept as of the login page so i don't think there is any explanation needed let's just run this application and see what happens all right uh, now the application is loading up on our screen wow you saw all these three components flying in one by one right with a small delay in between them the delayed effect was pronounced Let's just try tapping on register and see if the sign up page works as well. Hmm, the effect was really good, right? Try adjusting the seconds, guys. I gave the duration seconds as 3, right? Try reducing it and see uh, that the... Now, if you reduce it, it you will see that uh, the animation is more faster than this. And if you increase it, it will be slower, right? Uh, so, yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today now you saw how to make this is a very simple demonstration of bringing animations inside your flutter applications right step by step we'll take it ahead guys. Step, step by step we'll go forward guys uh, step by step we'll move forward slowly with animations guys obviously there is a lot of stuff you could do uh, with these animations you can chain them together and you can do a lot of other stuff with these animations but we'll slowly progress if you look at this channel i started out from the very basics with flutter and then slowly we are making progress right we just introduced widgets we introduced maps we introduced uh, uh, animations and uh, we introduced firebase we introduced firestore we introduced authentication and slowly 
we are making progress so uh, animations is our next milestone in progress right so as and when we make ui screens from here on we link try to include simple animations inside those screens and try to make those components come alive uh, or rather try to make those components uh, give a better feel to the user whenever the app loads right so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too kindly hit the thumbs up button if you found this i mean if you really like this video if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button we'll be doing a lot of flutter content from here on uh, so subscribe subscribe to my channel uh, to watch all those cool stuff and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out, miss out any of my uploads and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye